here. So I love your feedback on some of my last videos. You really love the whole five series thing. So I thought I'd show you my five best muffin top melting moves. So what is the muffin top? It's basically this area around here, around your waist that kind of, I guess, sticks over your jeans. May not actually be a very nice way to call it, but what it really is, is moves that are gonna attack your obliques, okay? The obliques are the muscles on the side of your body that really give you that nice hourglass shape. So these are my top five moves. I've done hundreds and hundreds of Pilates videos with you. So I thought, you know, let's narrow it down to some of the best. So let's go ahead and get started. What we're gonna start out with is my number one favorite move. For those of you who have been with me for a while, you probably know what this is. That's right, it's the candlestick dipper. This one gets me every time. I've been in Pilates for like 11 years now, teaching for eight, and still gets me every time. So I want you to go ahead and bring that leg out. Make sure it's straight. That knee is not bent. Don't do this. I saw a lot of students doing this. So if you're a beginner, you can actually bring your arms out like so, come down to one side and lift back up. If you are advanced and you've been doing this for a long time, you better put your hands together. We're gonna go ahead and lift the arms up, squeeze the head, and what you wanna do is you're gonna come down, really feeling the oblique right here, and lift back up, okay? For breathing, you're gonna inhale down, exhale up. Ready? Hands up in three, two, one. We're going down. Exhale, lift. Good. Lower and up. I'm gonna make your obliques feel so good. Down and up. Very nice. Lower and reach. I love it. Down and up. Amazing. Now, if your knees feel anything, Go ahead and put a cushion under them, like a rolled towel or a small pillow, okay? Because nothing should be hurting here except for your obliques. Four more, let's go. Four. And reach. If any point you're tired, bring your hands into the arm uh, airplane position, okay? And down. And lift. One more right here. And lower. And lift. Bring it down. Woo! Did you feel that? So good, it stretches my oblique every single time. Okay, same dealio here. Leg straight, toes forward, foot flat. Hands together, lift it up. Squeeze the head in three, two, one. Going down and up, very nice. You may find that one side is a lot easier than the other. For example, this side is a lot easier for me because my right oblique is stronger. I'm right-handed, right dominant. Okay, so that's why it's a little bit easier, but you know what? We try to be symmetric as much as we can. So that's why we work both sides. Down and lift. You've got it. Lower and up. Go down as low as you can. Come on. Parallel and lift. Amazing. Let's go. Down and reach. You've got four. All right. Three more. Let's go. Come on, guys. Dip it and lift it. Last two. Down and reach. One more, lower and up, bring it down. Amazing, very, very good. Okay, so now I want you to come down onto your side, onto your elbow, okay? So we're gonna go into our side plank um, and there are many variations of the side plank that you can do, okay? So I'll show you two or three. Beginners, I want you on your knees and on the elbow. All you're gonna do is lift up just like so. Gravity is gonna pull on the oblique right here. What you wanna do is lift up away from it as far as you can, okay? You're really gonna start feeling that. Now that's too easy. Bring the legs out and lift it up right here, okay? If that's too easy, what I want you to do is go ahead and bring the hand right underneath the shoulder, stack the feet, and lift everything up into a beautiful side plank. Good job, you just wanna hold it here. Now to really feel that side, imagine there's a fire pit or something nasty like little jumping sharks or alligators right underneath your mat. You wanna lift up away from it and hold. Feel that difference? Good, hold a little longer. Three, look up, two, and one, bring it down, amazing. Okay, now to really solidify what you just felt, come on to the feet and the elbow, okay? If your elbow needs some cushion, again, little pillow or roll towel, hands on the hip, we lift, check it out. Up, hip dips, that's what I'm talking about. Lift and lower, whoo, you've got it. Up and down, reach, so good, up, Good, you've got four more, come on. Four, yep, three, yeah, two, one more. 
one, and down, bring it up, woo! Did you feel that? That was amazing. Okay, now we're gonna repeat on the other side to even everything out. So bring those legs over, okay, elongate. Now you saw the different types of planks that we can do. You pick the one you like and push yourself to the next level, okay? So I'm gonna go on my hand and on my feet and I'm going to lift myself all the way up, holding it right there, fingers long, Shoulder right over the heel of the palm, extending the arm. Inhale through nose, exhale. Lift yourself up, 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 away from the mat from those little jumping sharks. In three, and two, you look so good. And one, bring it down, very nice. I always feel like that one is so empowering. Okay, now onto the elbow, knees, or elbow, legs. Hands right on the hip, get ready for this. Go ahead and lift up in three, two, one. Hip dip it up. We're going down and up. Lower, lift. Yeah, good. Whoo! Give me four and three. Come on. Two and one. Bring it up and lower. Whoo! That was insane. Okay, now we're going to attack the hips and the obliques at the same time with the hip twist, okay? So I want you to go ahead and come up to the elbow. Eyes forward, okay? Inhale. On the exhale, press into a plank. Now make sure your butt isn't up, make sure you're not dipping, that's really gonna hurt your back, but you're in a nice long plank, back flat. Three, two, one. We are hip dipping, boom, boom, tap, tap. Very good. Just like that, side to side. Tap, tap. Beautiful. I love it. You've got this, come on. Tap, tap, squeeze. Good, give me eight, seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Knees in and bring yourself into a quick child's pose. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Okay, great. Now finally, this is a bonus move. We haven't done this a lot. So this is called the reverse crunch twist. You're gonna bring the hands in front of you and slowly roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. All right, this is a little bit advanced, so don't get discouraged, okay? I'm gonna show you how to do it for beginners and I will show you how to do it advanced style, all right? But you will work up towards advanced, I promise you. Okay, hands down by the side, ankles cross. So normally a regular reverse crunch is like this. You go up and you come back down, knees over hips, okay? Great lower ab move. Now to add in that oblique element, what I want you to do is lift, twist, down, center. Lift, twist other side, down, center, all right? Beginners, what I want you to do, go ahead and bring those knees in, give it a little twist, come down. Bring the knees in, give it a little twist, and come down. You don't have to go as high, okay? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lift, twist, down, and lift, twist, lower, so good. Up, lower, nice, reach, twist. I love it. Make sure you're really swirling that torso around just like so. Beautiful. Nice work. Bring those legs up as high as you can. A couple more here. And twist. One more, I love this move. And twist. And bring those legs all the way down. Arms long behind you, inhale. And exhale, peel your back off the mat. You're sitting super tall. And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you really liked my five best moves to tone up your obliques. Let me know in the comments below what other five best moves you wanna see for whatever body part. Because seriously, this channel is for you. I'm your teacher, your instructor, so you let me know what you want and I will teach it to you. Also, just a quick thing to keep in mind, I want you to really love your body. And I'm not just saying that in a, ooh, I love my body type of way. I'm saying it in terms of like, if you're looking to really change your body, transform your body, if you keep looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself, oh, well, I hate that and I hate this and I wish I looked like her and why can't I have a six pack? Your body's gonna rebel. Stop stressing out about it. Find a workout that you really love, like Pop Pilates, which is so much fun. Eat 
well, cook and really enjoy the whole experience and your body will sculpt itself. Your life will sculpt itself. Okay? Does that make sense? Anyway, I love you so much and I will see you later. Bye. Nice. Dance with me. Single it out. Single, single. Shoulders more back. Now make sure you're not bending your elbows. Good. Long fingers. So we are in. Lift and press it down. In. Lift and coming down. Very nice. Look, we have the ocean waves 